kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part two of my video series on Bluetooth, to Bluetooth programming using Android Studio. Okay, so in this video, I will start the coding for my Android project. Okay, and first of all, let's uh, specify the user permissions. So for that, we will have the permission of Bluetooth. First of all, admin and also we will have the user permission of bluetooth all right these two uh, permissions are necessary for our bluetooth application to work okay so after that what uh, i am going to teach you is this first of all okay let me set up the layout okay so i have the relative layout here okay and here we will have uh, a number of buttons and list view so first of all let's have a button here and also let's have another button <laughs> just name the button as on and set the button as off okay so in this video we are going to either switch on or off the bluetooth all right so how we can achieve that so first of all you need to go to your main activity and inside that just have your own method all right and similarly we should have an off method so whenever user clicks on the on button this method will be called so before that what we need is a bluetooth adapter okay class so first of all we can say bluetooth adapter bluetooth adapter okay and inside our own create method we can initialize our bluetooth adapter equals to bluetooth adapter dot get default adapter all right and now in our inside our own method we are going to first of all check if the device supports the bluetooth or not okay if the bluetooth is uh, present in the, in the device or not so for that we can check if bluetooth adapter is null okay so here we can print a message bluetooth is not supported in this phone all right and in our s part now we are first of all going to check if the bluetooth is already on or not okay so from there we can check if bluetooth adapter dot is enabled and basically we will check if it is not enabled so here we can uh, enable it so for that we need to use intent so I can say intent i equals to new intent and inside that we can check bluetooth adapter dot action request enable action request enable and then we can say start activity for result and inside that we can use i and let's set the request code as one all right now the next step is we need to override the method on activity result method and in inside that we first of all need to check if request code is equals to one and here we can check if result code is result okay so here we can say that the bluetooth is enabled all right 
similarly for our switch off method so we can check if bluetooth adapter dot is enabled okay if the bluetooth is enabled then you can switch it off so for that i will use intent i equals to new intent and inside there we can say bluetooth adapter dot action okay let's remove that all right so inside our own method let's just have the on click method on all right and now let's try to run our application and let's see if it works or not let's so let me connect my phone So first of all let me see if it works or not let's run our application let me uh, switch on the usb debugging let me switch it on okay alright so let's run our application and let's see if it works or not and here you can see that our application is now running and if i click on on so you can see application is requesting permission to turn on bluetooth allow and if you click yes so you can see that the bluetooth is enabled and you can see the icon here all right and if i click switch it off and if i switch it on again so you can see that it is asking me for the permission and if i click on that again so you can see that nothing happens all right so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye